camera rolling, quiet. At the time, I was so stoked that I was really the main photographer there. Yeah, I knew the skaters had done their thing. I just was afraid that, you know, you're the guy who blew it. You know, you blew the chin ramp. This is my Bones Brigade, one of my Bones Brigade files. So when I got the slides back, you're sitting there at the light table, you got your loop, you have your fingers crossed, you know, and you're just like hoping all the elements were coming together. I just remember being so stoked how you know good they looked. It was pretty unreal seeing it at first because it's so huge. It was as a photographer, you just see that the possibilities and the angles and everything are endless. I mean, it was just blue sky and brown ramp and nothing around it, so it was perfect for shooting. I was working at Transworld Skateboarding Magazine as a photo editor and senior photographer. But yeah, you just want portraits and lifestyle-y type stuff, and so I was just running around doing all that. And it was just for the moment, just to get it in the magazine, and you never thought 30 years down the road what it would mean. The invert photo, I knew it was gonna be the peak photo. It was gonna be the grand finale. I didn't know 30 years ahead that it would be the grand finale again, you know. Are you going to play this recognizable? Uh, Jody, you taking just one it? side or are you going to bed right now? So quiet. Hey, Tony! Hey, Tony! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how many months ago Tony mentioned it to me that he wanted to build a spine and. He didn't even say to rebuild the ramp. I think he just wanted to build a spine, and I knew that I would be included on it because they wanted me to reshoot the same shot. I mean, 30 years has gone by, so what used to be simple could be a little more difficult. And then just getting everybody to do the right thing at the right time. It'll be interesting to see it. Back when we filmed it and shot it, back then there was no pressure. I think there's a lot more emphasis and pressure put on it because this whole ramp was built just for the photo. You know, so yeah, there's definitely a lot of pressure. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I just went up that wall in the same line Lance has to take and his eyesight is directly into the sun. Lance is so bummed. So, Tony, Lance, Cab. And Mike McGill. I was all right. Yeah, I got it. You guys done? Ready, boys? Ready. Ready, Grant? Yep. One, two, three. One guy's blocking the other guy because they're kind of so close together. No, I'm gonna go, go back. I'm gonna go back. Go that way. No, I gotta go back. You're this gonna way. go back that. Yeah. Oh yeah, so Tony can stick out. Yeah. One, two, okay. three. Lance's hand is literally the only thing I see. I think they're all crammed to the left. Go I over that move, way. I have to move my inverter. Okay, way. all right, cool. I swear the first time we did this, I probably we did it in 10 minutes. Being the perfectionists that they all are, they want to get it just perfect. They want their inverts to be perfect. They want their timing to be perfect. I guess I'm ready. One, two, three. Lance, you want to look at this? Doesn't sound like anyone wants, likes it. 
Tony's board went a little out of frame, so next one's gonna be good. I hate pressure. Wow, that was a good one. That's good. That's good. <laughs> one. All right, lunch time. Oh yeah, look at that. It's pretty good. It looks pretty good. Oh yeah, that's perfect. No, that's good. Yeah. Thumbs up. A mission accomplished. <laughs> yeah, those guys are stoked. I got the photo. They did the hand plants. They did probably more than they wanted to. I think the last one was the best one anyway.